I think other than some of the political issues that we face as a profession, I think there is um, a feeling of, of panic within within schools. They're sort of, um, we're running out of teachers, we don't have enough of them, there is no money. Um, I think that does filter down into the classroom and it creates, um, it creates teachers that are frightened to innovate because we're worried that if something goes wrong we'll be held accountable. If a child doesn't progress or doesn't succeed then we'll be the ones uh, with the necks on the block for it. Um, that when the money's running out, you know, you don't want to be the teacher that's failing. Um, and I think it, it's culminated in a profession where some of our best ideas come from resource websites instead of from research websites. Um, and I, I feel that that is something that um, newer teachers feel more than anybody at the moment as well. What we do is not just standing in front of kids and teaching them about Macbeth. It's about that, that innovative practice. It's about finding out new things that work. It's about um, talking within schools, but also without schools, talking to schools, talking between schools. Um, how the Charter College can coordinate those messages and can make it so that people understand that um, schools don't operate in silos. Um, and certainly don't have to talk through their local authorities anymore. Um, particularly in this, this new world, this academised world, um, we, we want people to be able to see that academy chains can talk to each other, they don't have to operate just within their own ranks. Um, and I think the Charter College can act as that collective voice.